All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple steps that you can implement to quit your job, whether you're 14 or whether you're 57. These three steps are going to be something that you certainly wanna consider using when quitting your job. Now, when you look at the numbers, about 80 some percent of people are not very satisfied with their job. Now, does this mean that everybody hates their job? No, some people absolutely love their job or they can bear with it. And so therefore it's something that they're willing to do. But let's kind of dig into this a little bit deeper. Look, let me just throw up this chart here for you. This is age zero to age 80. This is the average life expectancy of most people. So in America, average life expectancy about 78 years, UK about 80, Canada about 81, right? So so zero to 80 years and from really age 18 to age 63 which is the average age that people are retiring uh, you're working about 45 years of your life so this is something that takes up a very large portion of your life so it's important to hopefully take some time to really try to find something that's satisfactory that you enjoy in life and if you find yourself in a job at the moment that you're not very satisfied with and you feel like you could push past that or do something that maybe you're just more passionate about. Maybe it pays less, but you're more passionate about it and you wanna find a way to quit your current job and get into something else. That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. So if you're new here to the channel, you wanna learn more about making money and saving money and investing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and drop a like on this video. So let's just get started here. Now, let's start with the first one here, the first step that you wanna consider taking. But before we do that, you need to understand why, are people, why do people have jobs in the first place? And the simple reason is because we need to make money. We need to put food on the table. We need to pay our bills. Uh, and, and if you dig deeper than that, though, why do we have jobs? And a reason why a job is, seems like a very good option is because it offers some level of security and it, it, it's very comfortable. And for that reason, many people gravitate towards jobs. It, it just makes sense, right? Uh, because having security, knowing where your paycheck is coming from is very, very important and it's good to have, right? Versus if you don't have a job and if you're making money from various other sources, you don't know where your next paycheck is coming from and it can be very problematic. So quitting a job can be very difficult to actually do because we're in this comfort zone, sort of this bubble. And I sort of view it as, as this forest, this really dark forest, and you don't know what's in the forest. It could be wild animals, it's dark, you don't know what's in there. On the other side of this could be something really great. It could be this, this perfect light at the end of the tunnel. But you have to go through this, this forest of unknown, essentially. And the unknown is when you quit your job, what's going to happen? If you're starting a business, uh, if you are trying to get into a different profession, there's this really big, vast unknown that people are afraid to go into because the truth is sometimes you can fail. Sometimes you go into the unknown because you quit your job, you try to launch a business and it doesn't work. But the truth is in most cases, you'll still be okay, okay? So the first step here that I wanna show you, the first step in order for quitting your job uh, is something that we call crushing consumerism, okay? Crushing consumerism because, now let me give this example to you. So let's say that you're making $80,000 per year, which quite honestly is a lot of money. Most people don't make $80,000 per year, but this is gonna help prove my point here. If you're making $80,000 per year and you spend say, $80,000 per year, maybe $70,000 per year. This is actually going to be so much more difficult to quit your job when you are making a lot of money and spending a lot of money. Because what this means is if you quit your job tomorrow, you still have expenses of 70 or $80,000 per year because your quality of your life, your, your uh, amount of spending actually increased. Maybe you got a larger house, maybe you uh, expanded and you have a couple of cars because you're making more money. Now it's going to be so much more difficult to quit your current job because you're, you're gonna have to find another way to support those spending habits. So the first step here is to really do a big audit on your finances. We have lots of videos on budgeting and ways to save money. So you can check those out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can check those videos out if you wanna learn how to actually budget. But the key here is to uh, drive your costs down, drive down your total costs uh, on a monthly basis to something that is much easier to actually quit your job. So what you wanna do, run a budget and see how much you're spending. Maybe uh, what is the cost of surviving? What is the cost of living at a bare minimum for yourself? And maybe if you're in Oklahoma, this is lower than it would be in New York. But generally speaking, people are gonna find this number, this, this surviving number where you're not getting kicked out of your apartment and you're able to uh, afford the bus or you're able to afford a subway ride, uh, then, then it's generally gonna be somewhere between likely $1,500 and $4,000 per month, maybe you have kids, maybe it's going to be higher, maybe it's going to be lower if you live in some places that are very much a lower cost of living, okay? But you want to calculate this number. How much money are you spending and how low can you get that? Because getting your cost of living lower, if you live in a, a, a smaller, cheaper apartment, it's going to make it easier to quit your job because suddenly you have to come up with less money on a monthly basis than you would have otherwise if you had a lot of expenses, okay? So that's the first step, run a budget, find how much it's costing you to live and lower that cost as much as possible. So step number two, it's gonna involve a couple of different 
different things. But first of all, uh, you need to understand why do you want to quit your job? Do you want to start your own business? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. Uh, maybe you want to change occupations. You uh, went for a certain degree in school and you absolutely want to do a 180 and you want to do something totally different that's not related to your field. Now that's something you can get around as well and you can make that work. And then there's other reasons for why people want to quit their jobs. Maybe they don't want to work at all. They don't want to lift the finger. They want to sit at home all day long. And there are ways to do that likely through investments over a long period of time and living off of those investments. But what we're going to talk about in this video for step number two is starting your own business, essentially becoming your own boss. And this is a great way to quit your job. So the basics of this and one of the basics is to offer a service and then charge money for that service. Okay, now that's, that's the very basics of it. But when you go into this a little bit deeper, there are so many possibilities that you can explore. What's great about this is you're your own boss. So you don't have to report to someone, you have to report to the customer, to the client, uh, but you can decide what you're gonna wear, you can decide uh, what time you're gonna wake up, you can decide if it's a Tuesday afternoon and you don't wanna work, you wanna take some time off, you can likely do that if you're running your own business. Obviously it depends on what type of business you're running, but uh, how do you find the right type of business? We have lots of videos on helping people make money. But uh, what you can do is look at your current job. What are you doing right now? Are you a cybersecurity analyst? Maybe you could find consulting work and start your own consulting business in the field that you're already working in at your current job. But the key here when you're starting this business is to not outright just quit your job, walk away, and then start the business on day one after quitting your job. That's probably not the best idea. Now, have people done that in the past? Yes, they have, and they have succeeded. But many people fail when they do this because it puts a lot, a vast amount of pressure on people when they quit a job and they start a business the next day and they try to start making money. Sometimes it can take some time to really start to build clientele, to start to learn from your mistakes when running your own business. So what I would suggest doing is start a business simultaneously while working at a job, okay? So if you can do these simultaneously, a lot of people struggle with this because they say, I don't have enough time in my day. I, I have absolutely no time in my day. Now, that does have some validity to it. Some people really don't have time in their day if they're working two jobs, if they have kids and they have a lot of different responsibilities. But in many cases, and I found when I talk to people and I, I ask them uh, you know, some questions and they say, you know, I would start a business, but I just have no time. And then two hours later, I see them sitting on their porch drinking a beer. Or if you look at your numbers on your phone, if you have a, a, a recent smartphone, uh, it'll tr probably track the time that you spend on each app. And if you see six, seven, eight hours per week on Netflix, uh, four hours per week on Instagram, three hours per week on TikTok and Snapchat, and, and then people say that they don't have any time. Now, I'm not telling you that you don't have any time because maybe you don't, uh, but I'm saying in general, uh, some people argue that they don't have time when in reality, when you start to really pick apart their day, you find that they actually have a large portion of time in certain areas throughout their life. Maybe it's their lunch break, maybe it's before work, uh, maybe it is after work, uh, but there's, there's something that Gary Vaynerchuk laid out. If you watch his videos, really, really inspiring guy, but uh, he talks about working from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m on a side hustle or on a business while also going to the office. Now that is extremely strenuous, something that can absolutely tire you out, but finding times to work on a business, on a side business, maybe this is a lawn care company, a landscaping business, window washing business, or some type of next Facebook, find a way to start working on this business simultaneously while working on this job. Now the key here is to get to the point of surviving uh, from point number one, okay? So you wanna build your side business up while working at your regular job, build your side business up so that you can get to the point where you're able to sustain yourself if you were to not have that job. So you just have this, this business that you built up to say $2,000 per month in profit, $3,000 per month in profit, whatever that number is uh, that you calculated as to your cost of living, your monthly cost of living in step number one, which is crushing consumerism and trying to get those costs lower, finding out how much that is. Step number two, you're then going to try to build the side business to that level. And look, it's a lot easier said than done, okay? It, it can take time, right? It can take six months, it can take 12 months, it can take years to do this, but start doing this on the side, start learning from mistakes as you build this business to a few thousand dollars per month. Now let's talk about step number three, which is uh, equally as important as the past two. It may not seem as though it is, but it really is. Uh, and that is by actually acting upon this. See, so many people, when, when they want to quit their job, they say, you know what, I'm gonna start a business, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna happen and then I'm gonna quit my job really soon. And then they blink 
and a decade goes by or 15 years or 20 years go by and they're still working at the job and they're not satisfied. Look, like I said earlier, if, if you love your job, then that's understandable, but this is for people who don't enjoy their job at the moment. So if you're really not enjoying your job at the moment and you don't see yourself enjoying your job in the future, then set some goals, some very time specific goals as to when you want to achieve what it is that you want to do. So if you want to quit your job in January of 2021, set that goal and that could be 12 months out, that could be 24 months out, maybe you want to quit your job in a few months, whatever that is, set those time specific goals, write them down. Doesn't matter if you put them on your wall, write them down somewhere where you can see them every single day. It's so important to write down your goals. It really is because that is how you can actually achieve them and hold yourself accountable for them. Uh, when you're not doing that, when you're saying, you know what, I want to quit my job, I want to start a business, but you never set some times for it, it's just going to be very difficult to actually make it happen. It truly is. So that's step number three, actually going about it. When you do quit your job, make sure that you're doing it in a nice manner. Don't go out guns blazing, flipping people off. Not the best way to do it because you might need to use your old employer as a reference. So don't start a shouting match with your boss on your way out from your current job. But those are the three simple steps that you can implement. And like I said, this is the basics of it. You can go through some of my other videos that we have on saving money, on budgeting, and making money and some different business ideas that you can use to really start to gain some traction here. So if you found any value in this video, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the support. We really do our best to provide as much value as possible. We don't sell anything here. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see everybody in the next video.